I think we just have to step back and really take a moment in order to be conscious about whether we're living the lives that we want to live and we're actually being who we want to be with our children, modeling the behaviors that we'd like them to be able to look to when they're looking for support around how to be. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to speak up even if it makes other people uncomfortable. And you know what? If I get to rock the boat, well, so be it. I will overcome my programming. It's taken me almost my entire life to do it. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Believe in your inner voice. You can do it. You know, what's an okay amount for a child to be on the screen or gaming a day? I have the honor of supporting families in creating either the opportunity to get to the front side of their parenting so that the problems don't happen, or if the problems have already happened, to know that they can create the change that they want. Because everybody's, I really believe, doing the best they can. You're now a teacher. Um, and, you know, you're getting to do the disciplinarian stuff that a teacher would normally be doing for you all day long on top of everything else. And who has the bandwidth? Catherine Celery teaches parents how to change their anxious or depressed child's physiology in order to clear through the different emotional states. So there are ways that we can clear through the energy of emotion other than talk therapy other than drug therapy. So we need to learn it and we need to teach our children to learn it because you can see already how we respond to everything depends on what we think about our feelings. So what we must recognize is that children need our compassion the most when they appear to deserve it the least.